Hello there, I am Giant Crow with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on the rest of um the route up north of Roman City. We got to Roman City. We got the Via Seeker from a cool trainer in the Pokemon Center. We got a uh, old route from a fishing guru to the left house of the Pokemon Center. Or it's the left of the Pokemon Center. And then we also got a free bike voucher from the uh, chairman of this Pokemon fan club. Um, and we also saw that we had an opportunity to try a Spiro. Uh, for Farfetch, the little girl had a Farfetch. She wanted to trade for if we had a Spiro, basically. So yeah, now we're gonna take on a uh, Diggle's Cave, and we also got the bicycle in the last part. We put on the register um, select list. So, I mean, I just press select there. Or from in my case, Z on the game controller, and uh, we're riding around on our bike. Cool. So we can actually ride that in the cave. So let's try that for um, Diggle's Cave. It's pretty cool. Let's talk to this um, guy right here. Well, isn't this a surprise? A dig what dug this whole long, this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. Uh, they, they tell me. Okay, and he's right. Okay, so I have um, actually Green Giant up front, but I actually want to keep um, Airbender up front. Because Green Giant's a little over right now at level 24. Okay. Actually, um, we can probably put Trouble Cuff up to the front, actually. I'm gonna use repels though, and basically, for example, Triple Quest, since this level, since she is level 20, she will repel Pokemon, in this case, Diglets and Dugtrios, because that's all that's in the Diglets cave, really. I think the Diglets, Dugtrios have like 9, uh, 5% accuracy, or uh, 5% appearance rate, and then Diglets have like 95% appearance rate, uh, for this Diglets cave. So that's pretty cool. So, Triple Clef will repel Pokemon Diglets, I guess you could say, that are level 19 and below. If it's level 20, I think there may be a Diglets that are level 20 in here, I'm not sure. But, uh, if it's level 20, it'll still appear. And of course, you know, the trios in this cave are range from like level 30 to level 32, I believe. So, there's definitely, like, the repels won't repel off of that. Even if I put green giant up, or giant green up to the front, you know, we're gonna, we're bound to probably f maybe run into two or three of these duck trios, depending on if we're lucky, if it'll, um, be a, you know, that kind of wild encounter where we'll run into duck trios. So, I'm gonna put a repel on, actually. We have 44 after this school. So that's gonna, we're gonna ride our bicycle through this cave. Awesome. And I'll show the Doug Trio, um, uh, I guess, if we want into one, because they, 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 they pop up every now and then. Repel off, look, let's put another repel on then. Now we're done with 43 repels. Okay. So it just kind of goes up diagon, it goes kind of diagonally. Oh man, this might be a Doug Trio. Nope, it's a Diggle, okay. Oh, I see, this is the Gold's level 20. So yeah, I want to repel Diglets that are, that are level 20. Only 19 and below, like I said before. Uh, can't escape? Dang it. Oh yeah, might also have a Arena Trap, okay. Okay, so it's gonna use Dig on us. So, let's switch over to Airbender, because Airbender is half flying type. So Dig won't, won't do any effect on um, Airbender, because it's a ground type move. So yeah. Let's take this thing out with oh, and some of these some of these diglets, and I'm pretty sure the the, the um Doug Trios can also have a, a arena trap as their ability, which will make them make it so you can't flee or run away. I should say either way. Um, so you want to keep that in mind. Magnitude nine, but it doesn't affect Airbender. Sorry, Airbender is half flying type. So sorry, diglet. This one's level twenty and female. Let's try a quick attack and hopefully it'll faint it. Yeah, there we go, nice. Okay. Cool. Let's keep on going, I guess. Here's the... Wow, dude. There's another dig at level 20. Oh, this one's level 21, jeez. Okay, let's switch to, um... Airbender, then. At least we're getting some experience. That's cool, I guess. Fear swipes. Ooh. It's gonna... Oh, man. Let's hope this doesn't hit five times, honestly. It's hit four times so far. It hit five times, of course. I jinxed it. I did something wrong. Let's use Gust on this thing. Let's get us a Growl, which will lower Airbender's attack stat by one. Man, you're, you're a smart diglet. <laughs> this one's level 21. And it's female. Magnitude 7. Sorry. Doesn't affect Airbender. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, my lady, I guess you could say. Okay, it's a female Diglett. Let's go for the quick attack. It should faint it. There we go. Nice. Cool. 
On the way back, I'm just gonna put uh, I'm just gonna put giant green up to the front. Honestly, I went into the back tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If if I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up, that's actually very important advice if you like a rookie at this game. I think there's an item over here. It's just it's hidden. I think I don't know. I don't know exactly where it is. I can hop up it right now. I just want to show that you can ride it in caves like the guy, like the um. The bicycle shop manager or ca cashier guy said in the last part. I'm trying. Is there, I'm just. I'm not sure. Something tells me that there's an item back here. Oh, there. I thought that was an item. Dang it. it fell off. Okay. Whatever. I guess I, I'm checking all these spots back here, but I haven't found anything. Oh well, I must be. There must not be an item there, unless I'm totally wrong. Okay, this is the house I was talking about. Where, um, if you talk to this guy in the back, this little boy in the back, he'll trade you a Mr. Mime for an Abra. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk to this, this um, scientist dude first. Or, yeah, you okay, look like a scientist dude, or Professor Oak's aide, one of them, or, um, a super nerd, I guess you could say. I fainted Pokemon just has no energy left to battle. It can still use moves like cut outside of battle. Yeah, if your Pokemon is fainted, it can still use its HMs. HM moves, which is outside of, you know, obviously outside of battle, but it's kind of cool, I guess. Okay, um, I'm looking for the Pokemon Abra. Want to trade it for my Mr. Mime? Oh, of course I do. Here's your Abra. It's level 11 female. And by the way, um, when you trade any Pokemon in this game with a, a NPC um, that's an in that's an in game trade um, you'll get this you'll get the Pokemon at the same that'll match the level of um, the Pokemon you're trading for example I have an Abra that's level 11 so I'll get a Mr. Mime that's level 11 so yeah bye bye teleporter I like this it's like the Game Boy Advance and the, um, the um, wireless adapter you know it's pretty cool we get Mr. Mime, yay! Nice. I got that Pokeball bounces like that. It looks kind of 3D for a second. And Riley, I guess you'd say, sent over Mimeian. And you can't change his nickname, but Mimeian's, I guess, a good nickname. And still, I got used to it. Kind of still, I kind of, it kind of grew on me. I kind of like it, honestly. Take good care of Mimeian. Take good care of Teleporter. Thanks, Riley. <laughs> I'm guessing that's uh, well, it just uh, it looked like the spelling of the name Riley in a different spelling than other than uh, R I L E Y, you know. Anyway, hey, thanks. Yeah, we got a Mr. Mime now, which is pretty cool. Let's switch it with Miss with a mushroom, I should say. Not Miss. Uh, I must. I don't know what I'm saying there. I'm gonna put Green Giant at the fr uh, not Green Giant Giant Green to the front. I always say the name backwards. I'm used to saying Green Giant, but it's Giant Green. I gotta get used to that. Okay, so let's, yeah, switch that, switch with Trouble Clef, and then switch with, um, Airbender, yeah. So, Mimeon, let's check out some of it's the timid nature met in a trade, psychic type, I didn't mean to press A, I meant to go to the right to see its, um, stats and everything. Attack is 14, defense is 21, special attack is 29, which is good, I want a good high special attack. Special defense is 33, uh, speed is 29. Um, it's ability soundproof, avoids sound based moves like growl or screech and stuff like that. And um, uproar, but I don't think uproar is really a move in this game. And also it's taught by Tim or one of the um, Pokemon later after the National Pokedex learns it or, what, or has it. Um, so yeah. And it also knows barrier, confusion, and substitute. Let's uh, switch to confusion and barrier actually. Just because uh, confusion being up on the first on the list for now. Okay, so I'm gonna keep a giant green up at the front. I'm gonna go all the way back to um, Vermillion City, but I'm gonna show it actually. I'm um, gonna put on another pill though. I'm gonna see if we can run into the, a duck trio again. I'll show it if we do run into duck trio. So, let's put another pill on. I'll just run. Let's go back to Vermillion City. Well, um, we're actually going, um, we're gonna go to, uh, East of Vermillion City. So yeah, here's the Doug Trio. It's level 31. Jeez, four, seven levels ahead of um, my strongest Pokemon right now. Wow. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. It's gonna use Mud Slap. Okay. Dang it. 
Gamora, Giant Green's uh, accuracy by one stat, by one stat. But um, all oh, critical, nice. But we took it out with one Razor Leaf. It's pretty cool. Giant Green ga gained 677 experience. Wow, that's a lot for this part of the game. In this part, in this point of the game, I guess you could say. Uh, here's are we mounting another Doug Trio. I might, want, I might want to catch this one, it's only level 29, but, um, yeah, I might want to try to catch this one, actually. It's Fury Swipes, okay. Just Fury. You're gonna swipe me furiously, I guess. Or swipe Giant Green furiously, hit it four times. Giant, uh, I mean, uh, Mint Razor Leaf. I said Giant for some reason. But Razor Leaf hits with, a uh, one, and hits successfully, I should say. Dang it, I wanted to get you down on the reds, hopefully. Let's switch over to um, Airbender then. And it doesn't have arena traps, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, so now the dig won't be actually super... It doesn't affect Airbender then. Okay, let's just tackle then. Let's get Mets up, also doesn't affect Airbender. Cool. Okay, so let's just go for the Pokeball. Let's catch this thing just because. One, two, three. Yeah, we caught it. Nice. I won't be using this on my team though. I have used I have used a Diglett that evolved into Duck Trio on my team before in previous playthroughs, but not in this playthrough. I won't be using it. Um, just for my Pokedex, I guess. Uh, number fifty-one, Duck Trio, more Pokemon. It um, its height is two feet. It's two feet. It's two. Two feet four inches tall, I should say. Its weight is seventy-three point four pounds. A team of Diglett triplets. Um, it triggers huge earthquakes by burrowing, by burrow, by burrow, burrowing, there we go, 60 miles underground. Cool. Um, let's name this, uh, this is a weird, this is a kind of silly nickname, but it's actually after a real name. My friend is named Doug, and I used to call him Douglas, but we all call him Doug now. Uh, so, let's just name him Douglas. I'm hoping I'm spelling that right. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Must have the sand tumor ability if I were to guess. Let's just see it somewhere real quick. Um, Rash Nature Man Dig, let's give it level 29. Attack is 56, wow. Defense is 39, special attack is 38, four, uh, special defense is 42, speed is 75, wow. Sand Vel, okay. A Ups Evasion and a Sandstorm. Kinda like Arena Trap better as the ability. Let's put Sans Tomb up to the front, I guess. Or, yeah, let's do that. What's up next? Watch Fury Swipes there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And those Fury Swipes, Sand Tomb, um, what's up and dig. Again, I won't be using this on my team. I just want to catch it from my Pokedex. So let's move on to Diglett's Cave. Let's. Ah! Okay, here's a Diglett. Jeez, okay. Jeez, use Vine Whip on this thing. Gonna scratch, kind of outspeeds us, so that makes sense because it's higher speed. Yeah, let's put another Pell on. Okay, let's um, put another Pell on before I forget. And there we go. There's the ladder. Nice, we made it. Okay, I'm gonna, puck, I'm gonna go back to Pokemon Center and uh, deposit Douglas into the PC. So I'll be right back. So see you guys in a second. Okay, and we're back right here in front of Diglett's Cave. So I also um, want to switch my meme to the front. My meme. Yeah. And then there we go. Switch that with the Airbender and then Triple Clef and Airbender can switch places there too. So that's pretty cool. So, I think this is, um, it says Diglett's Cave right here. Okay, so that's what route is this on? What route are we on? Route 11, okay. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna end the part right here, though. So the next part will take on Route 11, which is the route, uh, east of Vermillion City. And then the next, next part I plan to take on the SSN, or maybe half of it, because it's actually, that says, like, N is kind of big, too. And I, f I want to fight all the trainers I can for the game, the most experience and everything. So, yeah, so this has been the my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walk Day part. The next part will just just that. So, yeah, so it's Janko again. I would like to thank you for checking in. Goodbye. And I'll see you guys next time.
Pokemon Leaf Green, we do walk the guide.